Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time for us to move on to Wei Strategist Sima Yi. Now, I did get Ma Chao's weapon days after recording part 3. I'm not going to be able to do another run, but I'll just show you the weapon and what stats it has. But that's after I'm done here. So let's get started. After the establishment of the Three Kingdoms, Juga Liang of Shu led countless campaigns north against the Wei forces, well, five. The struggling Wei Kingdom would eventually call upon their own military genius, Sima Yi, to lead its forces. Juga Liang and Sima Yi were evenly matched as strategists, thus the fighting entered into a long stalemate. But one day, Sima Yi received a report that the Shu forces were suffering from food shortages, and he decided to take action. The opportunity to outshine Juga Liang had finally come. Sima Yi struck out and immediately routed the Shu force—I mean, the forces of Shu general Wei Yan—and pursued the fleeing enemy troops into a valley. But this had been Zhuge Liang's plan all along, and Sima Yi was suddenly faced with the greatest predicament of his life. Okay, so the conditions here—you actually are allowed to use items, but no bodyguards. So they're kind of like a loosening up a bit. Okay, the Abyssal Feather has 60 attack power. I think all the level 11 weapons have a power of 60. This one has a level 18 Tortoise Amulet, level 15 Nanmon Armor, level 16 Cavalry Armor, and level 11 7 Star Sash. So some of these weapon is built for defense and a little bit of luck. Well, since it comes with a Tortoise Amulet, there's no reason for me to have one equipped of my own. It's not gonna go up to like 36 levels. The maximum boost you're gonna get is 20. So even though it's 18 plus 18, you're just going to get 20. That's how it works. Alright, so what am I going to put in the Tortoise Amulet slot then? Maybe the Dragon Amulet to get more Musou power? However, that would leave me at a disadvantage as well. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did scale the difficulty up to hard, because I figured normal was just getting a bit too easy. Uh, do I want the Wind Scroll? I think we should go with the Wind Scroll, just to get a little bit more range. Alright, we'll give that a try. Hopefully this is a good setup. Alright, finally, let's try it out. Fool, die. Insolent wretch, how dare you insult me? What? Oh, bombardiers and archers. Deploy. It must be Zhuge Liang's work. You're going to have to get out of there quickly. Because there are arrows, and there are also mines. Fire. Die. No. So, basically to get out of there, you got to kill as many enemies as you can. Like around 25? And then you'll actually be able to escape. These archers are merciless, too. I mean, look, if there's so many around, they're gonna shoot you ad infinitum. I put on the way of Muso so I can use true Muso regardless of my health. I think that'll be valuable to have. Because it'll just do a little bit more power if I can get an attack down. Also, be a good idea to hide by the gate and just charge it up. Hopefully, this will take some out. Okay, that was a nice go. I'm gonna wait over here where it's safe. Huh, there's actually mines on the other side. Don't know how I feel about that. Hmm, let's see if I can actually shoot these guys. Oh! Wow! Oh, they got away. Oh, now they come back. Uh, those are unreliable targets, so they're going to keep going back and forth. So I think in my best interest, I should just keep charging my Muso. Let's see if I can shoot them now. Well, at least I can shoot through the gate. That's a good thing. This is pretty much the safest approach. Just keep charging your Muso, and then just finding a gaggle of enemies to aim at. 
Remember, you can't move while you're shooting the laser, so put yourself in a good position. Probably here. Sadly, enemies up a slope are going to be hard to hit regardless. You can't aim those lasers at an angle. Man, I'm taking a beating. Thank God this came with a tourist amulet. Jeez, there's more enemies over here! Stop it! Taking out, like, the first bowman is the best advantage, because we tend to have a little bit more attack power. Oh, it's raining! What? Rain? It is raining? <laughs> the heavens have smiled on me. Prepare to die, Jubilion! Huh, and it diffuses the minds as well. It appears the will of heaven is not for us mortals to measure. We have no choice. Wei Yang, engage the enemy. Alright, so Wei Yang should be around here. Oh, there he is. Uh, you're gonna take some lasers from the base if you don't mind. Including the ones behind me. Ow, ow! Remember, it's in hard mode, so the AI is super aggressive. To the point they'll juggle you at infinitum. Try that on expert mode, it's even worse. We practically have to parry just to win. And as soon as he lands, what's well, gonna happen? I could use that power up. Oh! Nah. Got his own attack power boost. Who ever thought there'd be such like a massive divide between normal and hard? I mean, look at this. I'm almost dead. I bet you I'm not gonna get a single blow on him. Oh, thank God. There, we end dead. Sometimes it's best to use your Muso when they're attacking you. That way you can actually get them. They're not gonna block it. Wait, now I'm gonna be dealing with reinforcements all the time. Ugh. My defense is not that great, so my attacks are going to be interrupted all the time. Even if this Taurus Amulet looks like level 20, it will make a difference. I don't know why I'm boosting my attack power. I already leveled it to max. I can't go up any higher. Oh, great. Now Zhuge Liang himself is going to engage me. Don't face that way. I'm just gonna block it. Oh, at least I got him to half. Oh, oh, damn it. Look, as soon as I landed, I've got another combo. This AI doesn't mess around. There, got him. Okay, good thing luck's on my side. Only level 11's worth, but still. Okay, you can engage Yue Ying over here to the southeast, but your main goal is to escape. What? What just happened? Did I die in a single blow? Um, okay. Uh, uh, yeah? I, I don't even understand how that could happen. Alright, let's 
Try this again. I'll meet you back at that point. Holy crap. Prepare yourself. Okay, I'm back to the point where I defeated Zhuge Liang. Now Yue Ying is attacking me directly. Not doing good at a health standpoint. That much is for certain. Oh, there's a Musou one if you wanted it, which I don't. Not looking for a HP or Musou upgrades because I got that maxed out already. I'm looking for survivability upgrades. Thank you. Soldier dropped 100 units of health. When I was mentioning the parry earlier before I had that instant death, it's basically when you hold block and hit triangle just as soon as you're about to be attacked. You've seen that a lot used against me in duels. Like whenever I attack them, I'm instantly hit back. Problem is, sometimes the enemies don't give you any time to use it. Man, if this keeps up, I have to scale it back to normal, because remember, in some of these, I can't equip any weapons or items. Like, if you're not able to boost your defense, you can die instantly. Like, that's the parry right there. You will not escape with your head. Oh, great, now I'm frozen. And I'm not talking about that Disney movie, either. Oh, she just boosts her health. Oh jeez, this is a harrowing experience. Sometimes the reason you want to go into hard mode is because you can actually train your characters better. Not just from a weapon standpoint, but the uh, stat boosts are actually better. Like, when I did this on normal, I'm pretty sure I would only get, what, 4 defense from Jubileon rather than 8? Jeez. Huh, I mind. No, that was a bombardier that did that. You know, this Musou would be much better if I can actually just aim directly at Yue Ying right away. That did a nice chunk of damage. The problem is, she's trying to keep me away from her. Oh, there we go. Enemy officer, defeat. So am I still going to die instantly if I go to the northeast? Let's find out. Probably don't want to know. I might be able to survive it. Let's give it a try. But I won't let you get away so If I just run, I can do it. There's no escape. Prepare to die. You say as I escape. <laughs> Okay, I escaped Shangfang Valley. Wow. Maybe I'm just better off staying on normal because if the AI is this aggressive due to Extreme Legends, I got no chance in the other levels. I mean, you saw that. My defense at max and I was still taking an ass beating. Let's get like B grade for that. Alright, so enjoy the ending, everybody. Wei officer born in Hane in the Wen region. The Summa clan was a renowned family in the Hane region, for among them were eight brothers who were all gifted scholars. Within these eight, Summa Yi was the most talented of them all. One day an intrigued Cao Cao summoned Summa Yi into his service. At first Summa Yi was reluctant, but once he agreed to serve, Cao Cao was both awed and unnerved by his genius. Summa Yi eventually earned the trust of Cao Cao's heir Cao Pi, in the age of Cao Pi's rule, he was named commander of the Wei forces for the war against Shu's Zhuge Liang. During one of the countless battles with Shu, Summa Yi saw an opportunity and pursued the enemy into a valley. But this was a trap laid by Zhuge Liang, from which Summa Yi barely escaped alive. After this experience, Summa Yi was more cautious when dealing with Zhuge Liang. He ignored his rival's taunts and challenges, and was finally rewarded in the form of Zhuge Liang's sudden death. Summa Yi's stall tactics was both a tribute to Zhuge Liang's genius, and a testament to his own patience. The patience may have been what made the Summa clan the final victors of the Three Kingdoms era. 
Though really, with the Jin Dynasty, China was actually in worse shape than it was during the Three Kingdoms era. Though some people believe otherwise, that's how others saw it. Like, it got worse at that time. Oh yeah, might as well use this opportunity to show off uh, Ma Chao's weapon. So this is the last stallion. You get a level 12 Tiger Amulet, level 20 Horned Helm, no surprise there. Level 20 Cavalry Armor, and level 15 Elixir. And look at the spear tip itself, it's actually Ma Chao's helmet. Like, it looks like reindeer antlers, but it's pretty neat that they did it like that. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here. In the next episode, we're going to do Juga Liang's Legend Mode. See everybody.